When we first decided to do this DVD, I thought this is going to be the most intensive tutorial DVD on headshot photography. And I really thought that's kind of all it's going to embrace. It's just going to cover headshots. But I quickly learned that this can be applied to any field of photography. So you're a professional photographer, and I think a lot of professional photographers overlook this step. This is for your career. You need to know how the human fa what the human f face is conveying to your camera, no matter who your client is. I remember we got into his studio before we ever started filming. He says, hey guys, come over, come over, check out this guy that I just shot. And he starts going through the pictures, and he goes, look, look at the way he's smiling, look at his eyes, he just looks out of it. I'm like, yeah, he looks kind of goofy. He's like, all right, watch. And he starts clicking through the pictures, clicking through the pictures, and he stops and he goes, okay, here, I take him out, I bring him in front of the computer, and I show him what he's doing wrong. Are you ready to see how much better the pictures get? And I go, yeah, I'm ready to see. Shows us the next picture, whoa, it looks, it looks like a different guy. So at the beginning of my sessions, I get people in there and I take a shot, and I look at where I'm starting from. And I've got my light, I've got my camera, I take a shot, I didn't direct them yet, and they look fairly blank and out to lunch. Then I start my coaching. I start directing them, I start looking at their angles, I start to bring the juices into the shot by coaching them and bringing things out. And that's when I get a shot like this. And that's where you're really gonna see the difference in your work. Every picture is so much better than it was, you know, and when you look at the last 10 images compared to the first 10, 10 images, it's just not the same person. And at that point, I realized, oh my gosh, this has nothing to do with Peter Hurley's white background or his, you know, Kino Flow lights. He completely changed this guy's face. I didn't know a photographer could even do that. Look in the mirror. I want you, you know when you're in the doctor's office and you read the eye chart? and you get to the end and you're like XZW. Uh -huh. Like imagine, look deep in that lens and be like, you know, no, look at me. Look at my eyes. Yeah, it's got to. You gotta have, you gotta have that muscle memory for the rest of your career. Yeah. Not for today. Today I'm gonna force you to do it and I'm gonna watch you and make you get it. But you gotta do it for the rest of your career because nobody's gonna tell you in front of cameras. You know, Peter makes it so clear that his photography is not about the white background and the Peter Hurley lighting. I mean, we kind of got that here, and I look nothing like a Peter Hurley headshot. So this is the secret setup people have been chatting about in forums for years. It's not about the light. It's about the expressions and what I'm pulling out of the people. Yeah, it's nice light, but now you know it. You can go do it. Get it with Kinos, get it at flow lights, get strip boxes and soft boxes and strobes and throw it in there and do it yourself. But work on your expression with your people so you can get life out of them. I wouldn't believe it unless I saw it. And I saw him do it seven times over the course of three days. And that's what this whole DVD is about. Taking somebody that, you know, was just an average person and turning them into a celebrity, really. Because when you see these celebrities in magazines, they look good all the time. How do they do it? So much of the time, it's, it's people on the red carpet, they just have direct flash. It's not about the lighting, it's not about anything. It's about their facial expression. And I've never really thought about that before. That's what Peter's a master of. Why do you think celebrities look interesting in front of cameras? Generally, generally they look really great. I believe it's because a photographer coached them into it or they know from photographers coaching them how to work a camera, right? Well, we're gonna teach you how to work, the, how to get your people to work the camera so that your pictures look better. And I think as photographers, it's really easy just to think, well, I can only do so much with what I'm working with. You look like you, so I'm just gonna take a bunch of pictures and pull out the best photo. What I learned through this whole experience was, it is up to me to make them look like a rock star. I can take 100 pictures and pull out the best two or three, and they're gonna be okay, but what Peter does is he gets them to feel it. He gets them to believe it, and so he may still have 100 photos, but in those 100 pictures, there's so many keepers. They hired you, so, they're hiring you for a good shot. You can't rely on them for anything. They could be amazing in front of the camera and make your job very easy, but it's your job to get the shot. In the past, I've shot models and uh, the pictures turn out amazing. And I, I always say to myself, oh, they're a great model, you know? And then I shoot other models and maybe they're beautiful in person, but I look at the pictures and I'm like, eh, they're not as good of a model. Why is that? What are they doing? 
well, they're posing themselves and they're changing their face in such a way that looks great. As a photographer, shouldn't I know what they're doing? Shouldn't, shouldn't I be the one telling them what to do to make them look good? I've never even thought about doing that. I just thought, well, as the model, that's their job. But what about everybody else on the planet who's not a supermodel? How do they know what to do with their face? Or how do they know what to do with their body? Drop, that, drop the body this way, like this, even more. That's it, tilt the head this way. Chin up. Don't move. Don't move must don't change anything. He really shows you what you need to do from a model standpoint. He used to be a model. So he shows you everything that he used to do to make money in the modeling career and he teaches you how to teach that to your client. And um, it's shocking to me that I've never once even thought about it, but now that I know, it's huge. I, I can't photograph a person without using the things that he's taught me. From what we've learned today, there's three things you can change on your face. Mouth, eyes, eyebrows. Number two is mouth. It's the most active thing on your face. After working with Peter for three days, I know without a shadow of a doubt that his headshots are successful not because of the lighting or the background, but because he brings the best out of people. I was telling you, mouth, eyes, eyebrows, there's two other ways. There's one's your body and the other one's your neck. So body movement can change expression by the way that you're moving and what it emotes. But here's a, here's a neck thing. If I give you a look like this, it's one thing, but watch if I go like this changes my expression completely. So you can get people to do little tilts and little things that give the expression to the camera. He has this book that he goes through with all these famous actors and all of them have such similar looks on their faces and he tries to coach each of the actors that he shoots into looking this certain way. Really uh, approachable but confident at the same time. And one of the pages he has Pictures of Brad Pitt, I don't know for how long, maybe it's 20 years. Pictures of Brad Pitt every year for 20 years. And in every single picture, Brad Pitt looks like a badass. He looks the exact same. He's making the same face, except for the earliest picture, and it's before Brad Pitt was ever famous. And he looks so goofy, and he looks so out of it. You know, he looks like the average person. He just, he just got a snapshot taken of him. And you can see, okay, he didn't know what he was doing in front of the camera here. He learned here, and he didn't forget it for the last 20 years. This is the way he looks. This is a good one. I like this. So he's usually got his act together. You never see this yeah. guy off his game. In 1987, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. That's Brad Pitt before he knew he was Brad Pitt. Yeah. If you're not already a professional photographer, this DVD is probably going to still leave you with questions about how to light and apertures and shutters and maybe your ISO speed. Those are kind of the prerequisite of coming into this, this tutorial. Uh, Peter just assumes that you know that, and he touches on it a little bit. But for the most part, this is how do you make the best photos day in and day out? How do you make your pictures look better than anybody else doing the exact same thing? No, I got better headshots already than you've ever had. I guarantee it. There's no way. All right, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. I'm serious, come see that. There's no way you have a better headshot than that. Peter also goes into every detail of his business. I mean, he talks about marketing, he talks about pricing your work, he talks about printing, hair, makeup, uh, coaching, camera gear, lighting, everything that goes into running a successful photography business, we tried to add into this thing. And I just came to the realization just this year after doing it for about eight years that I have, a, I have something that, that is worth sharing and I'm not afraid to share it anymore. And I want you guys to go out there and take the best frickin' pictures you can. Peter Hurley just watched a rough cut and he goes, oh my gosh, this is, this is priceless. This is everything that I've learned over the past 10 years in one four hour DVD. And uh, $300 is nothing in the grand scheme of things. I mean, goodness, he charges 1200 bucks for a headshot. Uh, that's, you know, a quarter of that is, is the DVD. And I've got to tell you, filming this thing and editing it for months has completely changed my style of photography. And I've been a professional photographer for six years. But the way that I shoot people now, it's just, it's not the same at all. You know what, now that you've seen this DVD, you're gonna notice things differently. When you look through magazines, you're gonna see those expressions that really resonate with you and look interesting and have the, the actors where they're doing their super cool squint and all that stuff. And you'll see the deer in the headlights shots where the people look uncomfortable and out to lunch. You're gonna notice that. 
I want you to notice it in your own work. I want you to develop a trained eye for your own work so that you can see it as you're shooting and then you can learn to coach people towards it because you've got a vibe for it yourself and you know what you're going for. There's huge differences in trends with film or digital or lighting or color um, that are going to change, you know, 30 years from now. But the way someone's face looks and the way that you're able to manipulate that and make it look good in front of a camera, it's going to be as relevant in 100 years as it is today. And I don't know that I've ever come across anything that really explains that in the amount of detail that this DVD does. How about if I tell you to look befuzzled? Uh. <laughs> good. All that, all that. I make up words, don't worry. Most of the stuff that I do if I'm making silly expressions is to get them to a good one. Just get them to realize that this isn't so serious, that their headshot isn't like, it has to be perfect every time. If I mess with them, they're gonna, it's amazing. Every time I get one where they're being totally crazy or silly or whatever, the next shot is usually the best smile I get of the whole day. If you look, if you look at some of the celebrities from years ago, Marilyn Monroe or James Dean, why do they look so good? It's not because the lighting was any different or anything. It's their facial expression. It's everything that they're giving the camera from their face. And Peter Hurley has mastered that and he knows exactly what they're doing with their face. I never knew. I just looked at it and said, man, they look good in there. I, I want to get a picture like that. I hope I can find a model that can make that face. Peter Hurley can make anybody make that face. I saw an opportunity. I saw a niche in the market that I thought could be tapped into and what that was was a gap between celebrity and advertising portrait photographers and headshot photographers. I thought headshot photographers generally did things on a flat um, level that weren't intriguing and advertising and celebrity portrait photographers did things in a very interesting way. I thought if I could do that interesting thing with headshots I would be successful. I have never seen any books any tutorials online, any DVDs. I've never seen anything talk about interacting with a human and man manipulating the human face like this DVD does. Models know this. Celebrities know this. Maybe some of the top photographers in the world know this, but the average photographer has never even thought about this stuff before. Gorgeous. But you know where I'm going to take this. So the light's perfect. I love the exposure. I love the light. You got a headshot if you need it. But now we're going to take her somewhere using mouth, eyes, eyebrows. Okay? So watch this. All right. Hold that smile. Hold that smile. Hold that. Perfect. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that.